All right, so I'm going to be showing how to replace the trackpad on this MacBook Air model A2337 EMC3598. All right, so I already took out all the stuff, um, but basically you're going to use a P5 or Pentalobe 1.2 screwdriver to remove all the screws from the bottom. You do want to be careful because they are different size, shape, and lengths. Um, so the corner ones, sorry, let me, oops. The corner ones here next to the um, hinges, they'll have the most smooth surface. Let me see if I can show you. So they'll look like this with the most smooth surface and then a little bit of threading. Then the ones in the middle will have more threading, but a smaller or shorter smooth surface. And then the other screws will basically all be um, for the most part the same, but then the two down here will be shorter than the rest. Okay, next you're going to want to disconnect the battery. So there's this flip latch. I do have a video showing that, but basically I get my fingernail, flip that in, and then this cable comes out by pulling it forward slightly and then lifting it up. Okay, after you disconnect that cable, you want to open the MacBook and then press and hold the power button for at least 15 seconds to drain any residual power and make it safer to work on. Okay, um, you are going to have to plug the MacBook back in before it will turn back on, so keep that in mind. Once you get it reassembled, it's not going to turn on until you plug it back in. All right, there was adhesive holding the cable here, so let me show you. This is the uh, touchpad trackpad cable, and there's adhesive there, you can see. Okay, so we had to peel that off. All right, there was a little metal plate on top here, um, and that's held down with some T3 or Torx 3 screws. So you need to remove those two T3 Torx 3 screws, then you can pop that connector off. I do have videos showing how to do that on other computers. So if you need that video, um, uh, just let me know and you can or watch a few of my other videos and you'll see one. All right, there's a little cable here that connects this way. And as you can see, the metal pins do face up. And then you also have the touchpad connector, which curls around. Um, and that plugs in, as you can see, that way. So what we did is we put the cable already in on the new one. Um, there's all these screws here. Um, there's four, eight, nine screws. So there's two here, two here, two here, two here, and one here. So you need to undo all those screws using a T5, Torx 5 screwdriver. Okay, after that, you can open the MacBook slightly and you can get this out. But to get this out, you do need to undo this cable and pull that out, and you do need to undo this and pop that out. Okay, um, putting this back, it's going to be pretty difficult. Well, actually, not too bad. So, first thing you got to do is obviously get this in. So, I'll show you on this cable, but basically, there's this flip latch here. Okay. When that latch is flipped up, you can go ahead and you can see we can pull that cable in and out. Okay, so it's hard to do this with one hand. I'm not at my place with my regular work desk. All right, so get that cable in and then slide your finger over to latch it back down. Make sure it's good. All right, give me a second. Let me use two hands to do that and I'll be back. Okay, I just wanted to make sure it was in all the way. Once you've done that, we're going to, um, oh, I didn't mention, there's these little metal washers here. And they fall off really easily. So on the old trackpad, uh, when you open up the screen and get the trackpad out, you don't want to flip it upside down. Make sure to keep it right side up because these things will just fall off really easily. Um, but you do want to transfer them over. So there's one on each corner and then there's a little circle one on the middle. Okay, so make sure you get those and transfer them over. Okay, next thing we're going to do, we got to get the trackpad in place. So what you do is you open the MacBook slightly. Okay, oh, I might need two hands for this. Um, but open the MacBook, and then we're gonna thread this cable through the hole. Oh, okay, looks like I can do that. Just like this, oops, I did it upside down, my bad. So this is going upside down. You actually want to thread it so where this is towards the hinge or the top. And be careful that you don't drop the uh, keyboard thing down on the uh, MacBook because you don't want to crunch the screen with this in the middle. Okay, so I'm probably going to need two hands for this because I need to tilt this up. But let's see, can I do it with one hand? Okay, so basically you get that to go through this way. Okay, and it's tough doing this with one hand, but there you go. All right, so get that in. Then slowly let this close down and 
slide the touchpad into place. Um, we are going to have to peel off that little blue tab, and I do need two hands, I think. So give me a second. I'm going to peel out the blue tab and then um, stick it down. That's the adhesive protector. All right, so I decided to just take it out so I can show you, but you have this blue tab. Just peel this off. Okay, grab that. And also, you can actually test the trackpad here by using it. Oh, I don't want to flip this upside down because all those washers will come off. But uh, with the old trackpad, you can flip it upside down and you can have it plugged in here and here to test it without actually installing it right away. Um, but yeah, okay, let's peel off this blue tab. Sorry about that. I might actually need two hands for this, but let's see. So you grab it from the other side and then you go ahead and peel it over this way. Okay, I only needed one hand. Then we'll stick this down. Oops, I dropped one of the little washer things off. And that one's, oops, sorry, that one's kind of coming off. So this is what the washer looks like. It came off, all right? And you just drop it on there. It just falls on easily. Okay, let me get this back looped in, and then I'll be back. Okay, now that we got this, you can see we got it in place. And it does wobble a bit. So we're just going to loosely fit these screws. And then we're going to re we're gonna align it and then tighten them down, all right? So let me get the screws in, and I'll be back. All right, so we got all the screws loosely fit, and you can see we can still move it around. Okay, next thing we're going to do, we're going to roll this cable over. Make sure that this latch here is up. Then we're going to grab this cable and just get that in. Okay. All right, once you get that cable in, hold that in place, and then, oops. And then if you have two hands, this would be easier but basically latch that down, okay? Just slide your finger over it. Okay, let me use two hands to make sure it's even and I'll be back. Okay, there we go. Next thing, obviously, we're gonna get this in. You can actually peel all of these off first, but I'm gonna put it like this so we can test it, okay? So this, you just gotta basically line it up and then smash it down. So it can be a little tricky. Um, it's easy if, it's easier if you can look from the side so you can see that square or the shape there and see where it lines up and then push that in. All right, you heard it click into place. Okay, and then when you stick this down, you wanna go from here, make sure this is all flat, make sure this is all flat, and then stick it down like that. But uh, for now, we're just gonna test it. So I'm gonna leave it like that. If you're going to test it, make sure this is pressed down all the way. If it's a little crooked, you can damage your computer if you power it on. All right, next we're going to get the battery reconnected. So the battery has this little, let me see if I can show this. It has this little shape to it, like that L shape there, okay, or boot. So basically it slides on like that into that little groove there. So you get that in at this angle, slide that down, push it in place and then push that latch down. There we go. And now it's latching into place. So let's go ahead and power it up and make sure to test it. Again, you do have to plug this in or it's not gonna turn on. Okay, so right now, as you can see, it's not on. Again, we do have to plug it in. Even if you push the button, like it won't do anything. Okay, so let's get the plug and plug it in. Okay, so we got the plug, just plug that in. And it'll actually turn itself on. As you can see, I didn't press the power button. Okay, and all we got to see now is that the mouse or touchpad works and the keyboard works. Okay, so uh, there, when the touchpad is broken, the keyboard is also disabled because Apple likes to do that. So you think your computer is completely broken um, and then they charge you a lot more to repair or replace stuff. Um, they'll probably tell you your whole keyboard assembly needs to be replaced along with the battery but that's not the case. And as you can see, the touchpad is working now. Okay. And also to test the keyboard. Um, so we'll go up here and then I'm going to press the arrow keys on here. Okay. So we have the arrow keys and as you can see, pushing the arrow keys, it works and we can go left and right and that should be good. So Next we gotta do is align this touchpad and then tight, uh, tighten the screws down. And I just do that with some tape. So basically you align this and then you tighten this down. Forgot this thing turns itself on. All right, so let me align this and then tighten the screws down, put the cover back on and we should be good to go. All right, so the way I centered it, as you can see, there's a little like kind of gray ring 
So what you do is you can actually like use the screwdriver. So I tightened them all down already, but let me loosen it again just to show you. Okay. So as you can see, if you look at this, you can move it around within that circle. So you want to try and center it in the middle of that silver or gray area. And then once you get it centered, just tighten the screw down. It can be a little tricky, but uh, just work at it. Um, if you don't want to do it that way, what you can do is you can center the trackpad from the top side. And then uh, what you do is after you get the trackpad centered, you get tape and you tape it so that the trackpad is taped also to the palm rest area and that will hold it in place, okay? So I'm gonna tighten this. It's hard to do this with one hand while recording, but hopefully you get the idea. Yeah, it's difficult. It's more difficult to do this while recording, but okay. That looks just about centered, okay? Then we'll do the same thing down here. Line that up and then tighten that down. Okay, so let me do that on all, all four again and I'll be back. All right, so once you got all four corners in, then you wanna open this up. Okay, and double check. Oh, I might need two hands for this, there we go. Okay, it's still on. And you wanna double check, make sure the gap around it is even, okay. Looks good. And then we just tighten down all the rest. You do want to be careful again because this thing, uh, once the battery's on, it turns itself on. As, um, as you noticed, it's still on. Okay. So just be extra careful here. If you want to be extra safe, you can disconnect the battery again, press and hold the power button, and drain the power again. Okay. That. All right, make sure they're all good. All right, next we gotta do is put down the adhesives. So we're gonna grab this and we're just gonna go like that to peel that off. And then peel this one off. Oh, it's a little tricky. I might have to turn it off. I might have to use two hands. Give me a second, because I need to hold this up to get this tab out. Okay, I ended up just like flicking it from the middle here, like pulling it that way, and then it came out on its own. I was actually trying to rotate it outwards, but I guess that worked. Okay, so again, next thing you want to do is push down here, keep this flat, keep that flat, and then push it down from here. Just like that. Make sure that's flat as well. Good. All right, so we got the touchpad cable all the way in. We're gonna now put this little metal bracket back in. Again, since the battery is connected, you wanna be extra careful here. We're gonna switch over to the T3 Torx 3 screwdriver and get those screws in. All right. Okay, give me a second. I need to get one screw in, I'll be back. Okay, so here we go. I got it on the screwdriver here. We're we just gonna line this up and twist it on. I'm just lightly twisting it to get it into place. Then we're gonna get the second screw. Okay, let's get this screw in. I like to twist it backwards to get it lined up right. And then once you get, oops, sorry. Once you get it lined up right, you can go ahead and tighten that down. All right, and there we go. We got the touchpad cable replaced. Got the old one, the trackpad also replaced. And now we just get this bottom cover back on, just line everything up, click it down, and then get the T5 Torx 5 screws. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. If it did, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. And if it helped you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. If you can't help out that way, it would help a lot if you could watch a few of my other videos and then like and comment on those as well because that's what the algorithm likes to see. But other than that, you're welcome to stay as I get all these screws back in. I'm going to drop them in place first and then tighten them because I only have one hand. Uh, but yeah, alright, that's pretty much it.
And also again, I like to turn the screws backwards first to make sure they go into the right spot. Um, you can actually feel that it clicks. Um, that way they don't go in crooked. All right, so we'll get this screw in first. Okay. See if you twist it backwards, hear that click, and then tighten it down. All right, and somebody must have taken these screws out before because a few of them were mixed up earlier. Like one of the small screws was on the left side. Um, instead of down here, it was like over here. Okay. Again, twist to hear the click, then tighten it down. Again, hear the click. Okay, tighten it down. Oops, I think I knocked one of the screws out. Yeah, it did. Okay. All right. Get that in. This one in. Okay, again, these have the shortest ones, the ones towards the middle opening area. Oh no, stop, let go. The, sometimes the magnet is helpful and sometimes it's annoying. <laughs> And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching again. And I'll see you all in the next one. Let me get this last screw in. Come on, stop it. The magnet's being extra annoying. There we go. All right, there you go. Bye. Oh, let's flip it over one more time because some people like to see that it's working after I completely assemble. All right, touchpad's good. Oh, and one other thing. Let's see, does this model have... Um, PRAM reset command option. Let's do control option shift and the power button. Nope. Okay, so it doesn't. Let's see PRAM reset. So command option, PNR. Oh, I can't do this with one hand. Give me a second. I'll be back. Yeah, I don't think it has PRAM reset. Anyways, that's it. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye.